Good day! In this video, we are going to try and solve question 1 of the 2025 Term 2 Numeracy paper, or, or also called the CAA, and this is worth 10 credit. So for to get a 10 credit, you need to fulfill 3 outcomes. Outcome 1, 2, and 3. Every question has different outcome. So you need to get a, a number of outcome 1, a number of outcome 2, and a certain number of outcome 3 in order to pass this external or internal as they call it the numeracy exam paper so without further ado let's do question 1a so question 1a sounds like this okay so let me get the paper sorted Go. yep okay question 1a sounds like this okay, adjust the paper okay they say mom needs mom will be on crutches for four weeks because mom needs some help she says four weeks is about forty thousand minutes is she right? Use time calculation to explain your answer. So, you need to know the conversion. So, days, hours, and minutes because we're not interested in seconds, so we will ignore the second. So, one day has 24 hours. So, if you get one day, you get the hours, you multiply by 24. On the other hand, one hour is 60 minutes. So, you're going to multiply 60 in that column. So, one hour is 60 minutes, then that is the grid that you need to remember, the diagram you need to remember, okay? So now, let's tell you four weeks. Four weeks is actually 28 days, okay? Four weeks is 28 days because one week is seven days, four weeks is 28 days. So to calculate whether how long, how many minutes in four weeks, so what we're going to do, you take 28, okay, 28 days, because you multiply by 24, okay, and then you multiply by 60, and then you put your calculator, and I've done before, it's going to be equal to 40,320 minutes. Okay, so 4 weeks is equal to 40,320 minutes. And the question asks you, is she right? So you can answer both agree or disagree. So if you agree, okay, you can say that you agree because... 40,320 minutes is about 40,000 minutes and that will give you outcome 3, okay? On the other hand, if you disagree, okay, you can say that 40,320 minutes is a bit more than 40,000 and at the same time, you can disagree the statement. Both is acceptable. If you can answer that, that is outcome 3. Great. We shall do question 1B. Any doubt? Please leave in a comment below. Okay, question. I will bring down again. Okay, so it's now 1B. Okay, mom crutches need to be set so that her arm is bent at the correct angle. Okay, so it must bend at the correct angle. Okay, and you can see that that angle, they tell you this graph here, and that is the angle you're look, looking for. Okay, that angle, if you get at zero, and you look at that, is about 30 degrees. That's the straight answers, and that is the 30 degrees. In fact, the answers in the marking schedule say any number from 29 degrees to 31 degrees is acceptable. If you can get that, that is outcome number 1. So the first question 1A is outcome 3 and the second question is outcome 1. So there's a mixture of 1, 2 and 3 in each paper. So you need to get a certain number of correct answers. Okay, now we're going to do 1C. 1C is common sense, okay? A friend takes mom for a walk. The dash line shows the path they take the X marks about 900 meters from the start of the walk. So the start is here. They're going to walk around here. And th you can say that is it 10 meters? I don't think it's 10 meters because it's 900. That is too short a distance for 10 meters. Is it 100 meters? 100, maybe still too short. I think the answer is going to be C because if it's around 200 meters here, okay, 200 and around there, from here to here, it will take around 900 meters. And I would say that it is around 0 to 200 meter and I put it as outcome C because 500 is way too much okay 500 here here will be 1 kilometer it's only 900 meters and 1 kilometer is way too long okay so technically the answer is C again if you get this right that is outcome number 1 great now we're going to do the next question which is 1D okay, let me adjust the paper it's a bit sticky here because it's still fresh from the printer. Okay, so now we are going to do question 1D. Okay, mom needs to have a garden box filled with dirt to grow vegetables. This is a garden, 
bed, okay? So it's 40 centimeter, 70 centimeter in width and 150 centimeter in length. How many cubic meter of that are needed? So you're going to fill up to the brim. So because they want the answer in meters cube, I would first convert everything to meter. So zero, 40 centimeter is 0 0.4 meters. 70 centimeter is 0 0.7 meters and 150 centimeter is 1.5 meter. So the volume of that, so volume, I will just multiply the three numbers, 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.7 multiplied by 1.5. And now, of course, you need to put in your calculator. I've done beforehand, it's going to be 0 0.42 because the unit in meter cube because it is length, width, and height, so meters, 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 the unit in meter cube, so the answer is 0 0.42 meter cube, and that is outcome number two. Okay, the last two questions is question 1C, 1E, and 1F, and it is a straightforward question, and we shall tackle it now, okay? So 1E sounds like this, okay? Dad put five kilograms of clothes in a washing machine, after washing, the wet clothes now weigh 1.8 times as much as the dry clothes did. So initially, it was 5 kilograms because after water is added to it, it's 1.8 times how much the wet clothes weigh. So it's going to be 5 kg, the original weight, multiplied by 1.8 times. And of course, you need to put in your calculator. And the answer if I found out is going to be 9 kilograms. So you put 9 kg and that is outcome number 2. And last but not least, we're going to do question 1F. Mom noticed that 240 liters rubbish bin is three quarter full. They're going to be three quarter full, okay? And then how much space is left in the bin? So this is one quarter because three quarter is filled, so one quarter. So what amount of space is available? So we're going to take one quarter is left. You got one quarter space multiply by three 240 because the whole bin can take up 240 put in your calculator or you can cancel them out it's going to be 60 liters again that is outcome number two so in question number one a again i repeat is outcome three one b outcome b and c is outcome one and question one b e and f is outcome two Watch the next video for question number two. Have a great day everyone and I'll see you soon.